Once upon a time in a sparkling blue sea, there lived a young mermaid named Marina. She had a long flowing hair like the color of seaweed and shimmering tail that sparkled like the finest pearl. Marina loved to explore the ocean, but her favorite place of all was the moonlit lagoon. The moonlit lagoon was a secret place known only to the mermaid that hidden behind a curtain of coral. One evening, as the full moon rose high in the sky, Marina decided to visit the lagoon. She swam through the coral and into the glowing water, marveling at the beauty around her. As she explored, she noticed a golden shower lying on the sandy floor. It was the most beautiful shower she had ever seen, and she felt a strong urge to pick it up. As soon as Marina touched the shower, she heard a gentle voice. Thank you for finding my shell. The voice said. Marina looked around and saw a tiny sea fairy fluttering nearby. The fairy's wings sparkled in the moonlight and she had a kind smile on her face. I have been looking for this shell for days. The fairy said. It's very special to me. Thank you, Marina. I will grant you a wish. Marina thought for a moment. She had always wanted to see the world above the water, to feel the warm sun on her skin, and see the green trees and colorful flowers. I wish to visit the land above the sea, Mermaid said. The sea fury waved her tiny wand, and in an instant, Marina found herself on a sandy beach. When she looked down and saw that her tail had transformed into legs, she was now a human girl. Excitedly, she explored the beach, feeling the soft sand between her toes, and listening to the sound of the waves rushing on the shore. Marina's adventure had just begun. As she wandered along the shore, she noticed a bustling city in the distance. Eager to explore, she walked towards it. The city was alive with lights, sounds and people moving in all directions. Marina's eyes widened in wonder. As she looked in the tall buildings, busy streets and colorful shops, her first stop was a large park where she made friends with a group of playful dogs. They bounded around her by wagging tails and tongues rolling. Marina laughed as she played fetch with them and enjoyed their company. Later on, Marina ventured into the heart of the city. She walked past shops filled with beautiful clothes and shiny trinkets. She tried on different outfits and marveled at her reflection in the mirror, feeling like a princess. Next, Marina decided to experience the thrill of driving a car. She watched people getting in and out of the car and was curious about how they work. She met a kind taxi driver named Mr. Thompson, who offered to teach her. Marina sat in the driver's seat, her heart pounding with excitement. With Mr. Thompson's guidance, she learned how to steer, accelerate, and brake. She giggled as the car moved down the street. The city light's reflection in her eyes Marina continued her adventure, exploring a grand library filled with towering shelves of books. She marveled at the knowledge and stories contained within. In the children's section, she read stories to a group of kids. 
who were fascinated by her tales of the sea. As night began to fall, Marina found a quiet spot in a small garden. She looked up at the stars, feeling a mix of joy and sadness. She knew it was almost time to return to the sea. She thanks universe for the unforgettable day. Reluctantly, Marina walked back to the beach with a heavy heart. She stepped onto the waves, feeling the familiar tingling sensation as her legs transformed back into her shimmering tail. Back in the lagoon, the sea fury appeared once more. Did you enjoy your adventure, Marina? She asked. Oh, yes, Marina exclaimed. Her heart was full of memories and wonderful experience. Thank you so much, sea fairy. The fairy smiled. I am glad you enjoyed it. And remember, the magic of the moonlit lagoon is always with you. And from that day on, Marina cherished her adventure and often returned to the moonlit lagoon to remember the day she explored the city.